With the Winter Olympics getting so much attention uh, right now, an age-old sports debate was renewed on Twitter this past week. Our Edward Egros arguing that while he admires the athleticism of figure skaters, he does not consider figure skating a sport. Let's just say not everybody agreed with Ed. Here's Mr. Egros with a uh, quick recap of an interesting week. It began as a conversation between colleagues. Stats in the Wild tweeted, If you need to pick a song as part of your sport, I'm not going to respect your sport. I respect your art. I replied, thank you. I have the utmost respect for figure skaters. Only a few people in the universe can do it, and they deserve my praise. But it's not a sport. Vincent Joe, Gracie Gold, and Chris Kinnearum were three of many Olympic figure skaters to respond. People Magazine, The Huffington Post, and USA Today all covered the exchange. Outlets around the world also picked up the story, from the United Kingdom to Germany and even to Pakistan. Some fans respectfully disagreed. Others called me names the FCC won't let me repeat on television. But nearly one week after the initial tweets, the responses and conversation continue. So let me be clear, I don't hate figure skating at all. I do watch it and I respect figure skaters. It's challenging, it's beautiful. It belongs in the Olympics. I just don't call it a sport. Could you have imagined that this thing would have blown up the way that it did? I mean, it, it speaks to the power of, of social media. Again, this is a discussion that happens from time to time, mm -hmm. but you really you really struck a nerve, and the fact that actual Olympians responded is, was kind of amazing. And, and that's incredible to me. I was not expecting that at all. I was expecting some blowback by those who love figure skating, but I was not expecting at all that the actual Olympians would be responding to me in the ways that they did. And as you saw some of the tweets, some were very professional about it. Others, you know, had a little little bit of snark to it, but I appreciate all of the the backlash of sorts. Yeah, and, you know, <laughs> and I would argue that it is a sport only because it's an athletic competition and the uh, the level of athleticism is such that it's really impressive and, and ultimately it, it is one athlete competing against another or, or several others. But I, I think what I hear you saying is the fact that it their scores are totally determined mm -hmm. by subjective judging right. in your mind does not make it a sport. So the way this works, in case you don't know, there are two components to a score, the technical score and the program score. Technical score absolutely objective what are your jumps how tough are the jumps how do you land etc the program components though it's comprised of things like musical interpretation transition and flow and there are definitions to these yes but it's subjective in terms of how you come up with these kinds of scores and also the judging itself there is a little bit of bias like if you have a judge who is from America judging an American skater they're a little bit more familiar with the program know what they're trying to do and studies have shown there's a little bias with that so you had natural judging bias along with some ambiguous criteria for a program component score. I think it becomes too subjective for it to become a sport. Therefore, it's a performance art. But again, that's not meant to be an insult at all. It's just... You know, you haven't, given, you haven't no. given this any thought at all, have no, you? No, 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 no. I just, I just said that. Whatever. Yeah. And of course, the other side would be that that any sport, you know, basketball, a perfect example. There are human beings officiating it, mm -hmm. but ultimately, you have to make a shot, and that's that's right there in front of our eyes, and there's no disputing what uh, constitutes points in terms of basketball. I think the spirit of those sports is such to where it is meant to be objective. One team scores more points than the other. They do it a certain fair way. With figure skating, it's naturally meant to be subjective. You think about the origins of figure skating, it was all based upon compulsory figures making designs in ice. You look at those designs and whichever looks straighter and neater, that's who won the gold medal. But now, because they considered that too boring, you want to add all these other criteria to it that are naturally subjective. Therefore, it's not a sport. I'd rather not think about the origins of figure <laughs> skating if it's all right. Fair Edward uh, Egros, thank you very much. A crazy week.